Oh, I like it. Brilliant. Blues, I loved how you've gone from one side to the other side. It split the defence and given us the gaps. So this game that we are going to play is going to be a 3v3, okay? So we've got our goals at each end and hopefully we're going to score lots of goals in this, okay? So we're going to have a goalkeeper at each end, 3v3 in the middle, but we have also got Peyton and Marley in the red bibs who are going to be floaters, target players on the side. So Marley's going to be over here behind these white cones here and Peyton's going to be in this half there. Now, they are going to be helping out whichever team has got the ball. So in this case, if the yellows have got the ball, what have we essentially got? So instead of a 3v3, what have the yellows really got? Oh, yeah, they've got a 5v3. So whichever team has got the ball, the reds are the support place for them on the side. Fantastic, right, let's see how we get on. Let's see if we can score lots of goals, let's go. Let's play, off the goalie. Like that, Louis. Right, now you've got some space. So we've now got a 5v3. Oh, I love that. Brilliant. Great movement as well, Ollie. Oh, can we turn and we finish it? 1-0. Ready? Good. Good yellows, right? It's great move. Oh, fantastic. Well done, you two as well. Great combination play. And we've bypassed them. I love that. When we've got the ball, which two players are always going to be free? The Reds are always going to be free. So we should always have the option of the Reds. Ready, Louis? Let's play. Let's try and keep that ball. Good. That's nice. Yeah. Can we dribble? Can we take it past him and shoot? What a save! And finish! What a goal, well done. Right, we're going to change the dynamic slightly now. So, Caden, I'd like you to go on that side of the pitch if that's all right. Okay, and I'm going to take this halfway line away, Noah. So now you've got all this space. And Caden, You've got all this space on that side as well. How can you use those players to help you to get closer to the goal to score and finish? Off we go. Oh, it's a great pass. Go on, you can pass it back. Right now, the Reds are with the Blues. Great, love that fantastic footwear. Done. Good. On two. We finish it. Oh, what a finish. All right. Good. Good. Oh, I like it. Brilliant. Blues, I loved how you've gone from one side to the other side. It split the defence and given us the gaps. Right, now, Reds, you're still on the team who've got the ball, but if you receive the ball, you don't have to stay in this zone. If there's some space to move into, you might move in and you might score yourself. Okay, so you're not trapped in. But when the other team get the ball, you've got to get back out here, recovery running here to help them out. Can we counter-attack like the Blues did before? Well done, right, you're not locked in. You can come out if you want to. No, I love that decision. Okay, you're back on the Blues now. Where's the, there we go, Kin. How are we going to use it? Have we got that security, Marley? Keep telling him, keep telling him no. Love it. You're not trucked in. Go and drive. Good. Oh, deflection in top corner.
Great turn, Al. Fantastic turn. You can dribble in. We can score if we want. Pull back. Oh, and again. Go and finish. Yusuf on a mazy road dribble. Can he finish it to win the game? Oh, what a save and hold it there. All right. So, who can tell me, who can tell me, all right, what were some of the things that helped you to be successful at that game? Talking. 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 So, what, what types of things were you talking about? What types of things were you communicating? Man on and play here. Man on, play here. Okay. What about with the, the target players? How did they help you to win the game? Or help you to score, get in positions to score. You help to, they helped you to uh, counter-attack and play it wide. Brilliant. How many counter-attacks do you think we had in that game? Ten. Yeah, lots, wasn't there? Lots of counter-attacks. Tell me then some of the decisions you had to make if you were one of the Reds, or the target players. What were some of the things that you had to think about when you got the ball? Uh, do you dribble in or pass? Do you dribble in or pass? So what, what were some of the things when you got the ball? What made your decision for you, whether you dribbled or passed? Uh, if someone was in space, you could easily pass. If not, they were, and you could dribble in and try and shoot. Brilliant. Okay, so there's a space to attack yourself. I like it. Well done. And go and grab yourselves a drink. Well done, guys.